What is up, Valentine Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. And as I stated, happy Valentine's Day to everybody who is watching. No matter how you spend your Valentine's Day, I hope it treats you well. Hope you're hanging out with some people, eating some good food, enjoying some of the hobbies that you like, getting a good pump in, doing what you gotta do, man. Like that's what it's all about: being happy, being cool, and all that good stuff. And hey, a special happy Valentine's Day to my Valentine twice baked Jake. Man, you've given my channel so much content. I've done so well based off some of the things that you've said and done. And quite truly, I do appreciate you. I appreciate some of your takes. I've come to bat for you a couple times. I've disagreed with some of the stuff that you said. But hey, today I woke up to the treat of a lifetime. I woke up to Twice Baked Jake announcing major changes to like some of his channel things he's doing. Some, some major changes on some stances he's had before. And all of a sudden, things are just clicking in his head. A couple hamsters started running around. He's just fucking firing on all neurons now. He understands what it means to be a live breaker. He understands what it means to do breaks on whatnot cards. Yes, Twice Baked Jake announced that he is just doing whatnot cards full time. Now, he's done a couple streams before. He's been invited and he's done a few things, but he's basically like all in now. He's bought in. He's fucking eating the cush. He's going straight up in that asshole of whatnot. And whatnot is straight up his as well with all this. He put out a video basically going in on how much he loves live streams now. And just it's it's funny coming from Jake because of two things. It's, it's hilarious. Number one. He was completely against any of that stuff. He was always like, open your own packs, doing your own thing, take your own risks, do all that stuff. Like, make sure it's in your hands, right? He's always been that guy. We'll look at the video here in a second, but he's always been that guy. Number two, he went extremely hard on mystery packs by certain PokeTubers that he just was basically like, I mean, this stuff's a borderline fucking scam. This stuff's borderline fucking just, it's straight up gambling. This is just, the, the risk is all there. Like, all this, he just went crazy in on certain PokeTubers or their mystery packs. Look, I get it. I don't like mystery packs either. But then you turn around a couple months later, and now you're just all in on whatnot. Possibly the biggest gamble, the biggest risk, and the biggest group of fucking weird people in our hobby. And that's where you want to look. Uh, you know what? Why am I talking? Why am I stating anything about this? Let's let the man, the myth, the legend, twice bakey, jakey, mistakey, let, let's let him explain his stance. I'm not going to do it any justice. Hello everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. In today's video, we are talking about live stream pack break, which is, I know, kind of a salty word for a lot of people, but I sort of understand this topic now. For the longest time, I've asked myself, why would someone want to pay someone else to open up booster packs for them? Doesn't that take away the enjoyment of the pack opening experience, which I am always an advocate of? Yes, yes it does, and it is very weird. You've always been an advocate of that. I will never take that away from you. Twice Baked Jake has always been a big person on enjoy the hobby the way you want to enjoy the hobby. Whether I agree with all his opinions or not, whether I agree with every fucking thing he's ever said, he has always been a person that's done that, and that's why him coming all out in favor of live breaks all of a sudden is very strange. I'm wondering what changed that. I'm really wondering where this opinion stemmed from. And once again, I don't have a problem with people going and selling stuff. I don't even necessarily have a problem with people on whatnot. You just got to understand, this is twice baked Jake we're talking about. This is number one fucking anti-mystery pack, anti-live breaker dude that was on our community for a long, long time. And of course, live stream pack breaks are not that unique. In fact, live stream pack breaks was the biggest reason for the Pokemon boom over the past couple of years, starting with Logan Paul. And we have all kinds of live pack breaks nowadays. One of the biggest one is of course, PokeRev. PokeRev does pack breaks all the time, live with his viewers. He used to do it for 12, 14, 16 hours a day to the point where he actually had to say, no, I can't do this anymore. I have to slow down with the pack breaks because they were so incredibly popular. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never done a live pack break. This is what I'm talking about, like him, him going super hard on PokeRev packs and basically going over everything PokeRev did and the amount of crap he talked about that entire model. Like, I, he's entitled to his opinion. Hell, I even agree with it to a point. It's just funny now that it's like, oh, look at the live pack breaks over here. Look at all this crazy stuff. Man, look at the dude. dude PokeRev does this stuff. Logan Paul does this stuff. You know, the extremely credible Logan Paul. He's who I'm going to use as a reference in order to justify pack breaking. That's where this is going to, you got to understand, I get it, I completely understand, I'm geeking out more than probably some people, this is twice big Jake saying this shit, and it's going to become abundantly clear why he made this move here in a second, I promise you. 
until very recently, a couple of months ago, Whatnot reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to do some live pack breaks? We would love to help you out with that. And I thought, you know what? I actually would. I would love to experience what it's like to open up booster packs live with some viewers, talk to viewers live. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I had an absolute blast. It was a ton of fun. I've done one live stream where I cracked open some booster packs with some viewers. I sold off some PSA 10 graded Pokemon cards. I had my very first Whatnot live auction and it was a ton of fun. We gave away a hundred Paldean Fates booster pack. It was a wonderful experience and I completely understand it now. So it's, it's now become clear what's going on here. So Whatnot reached out to him and probably gave him a pretty good offer, a pretty good partnership offer. I mean, look, He's free to do whatever he wants. He's good. I'm like, I understand there is some good things about like the whatnot live stream experience. But what's funny about that stuff is he had this opinion. He had this opinion, this diehard opinion up until whatnot showed him a little bit of a bag until whatnot promised to help him out and go push that stuff forward. And I'm telling you, man, whatnot has some of the crazy, the reason, okay, I, I get it. Why some people are like a oh, whatnot. Here's the problem with it as opposed to Pokey Rev doing his own fucking live streams with his own people, with his own product, with all that stuff. See, whatnot as a whole can use content creators such as you, Twice Baked Jake. They can use your name pull with his own product, with all use your fucking fandom in order to fucking market something that may be less than credible. And quite frankly, with you working for whatnot, like they're, they're going to look at you and they're going to look at that stuff. Like it's a huge risk for you to actually take upon that stuff. I mean, we are talking about whatnot after all, who worked with fucking... Blakey, breaky, mistakey, and the snakey, right? I mean, like, that. that is the same person, right? The same place that it was, like, almost, it did nothing about quite a few things that were going on behind the scenes until people like Rattle made a big old stink about it, okay? You do understand this is that same whatnot. People are very salty, not about necessarily the live breaks, which people do have salt about that. People are more salty about the company that you were deciding to work with. And he has a link too. You can go check that stuff out. He He's all in, baby. He's 100% in whatnot now. It's just funny. And your comment section is, bl they're telling you how they feel about this stuff. And look, this is how, like, I get it. I would have this exact same comment section if I went to whatnot. People would roast me, and I would fucking deserve it. You know why? I've had this stance. I've built a an, an entire following on being anti-whatnot, anti-fucking live breaker. I don't really participate in that bullshit. I'm very much against mystery packs. If I came out with a fucking mystery pack, you know how roasted I would get? I'd get destroyed by my fucking core fan base, or my core viewership, my core peers that watch me i'd get roasted by them and i'd fucking deserve it because i would be the biggest hypocrite that ever walked this fucking planet man it, it, that's what's going on here that's why people have an issue with it whatnot is a shady company that has some shady bullshit with it that's worked with some shady people and can offload some shady bullshit using a pokey tuber that people like that that's the issue with it that's why your comment section is talking about that Livestream pack breaks definitely get a bad rep because there are bad actors in that category. But if you are purchasing your cards from reputable sources, it can be such a fun and interesting experience because I get to talk to viewers lives, I get to react to the cards immediately as they get pulled. We pull some really awesome cards like a special illustration rare blast toys from 151 which was a ton of fun. I get to gush over the cards immediately. People were able to ask me questions and I was able to answer them immediately which was something that I didn't really do that much in the past. You get to react to the cards immediately. <laughs> what the fuck does that? You, I get to gush over the cards right now? Like like are your videos fake? Every time you pull a card on a video is that not you reacting to the poll? Is that not you doing anything with that? I get to react to this card immediately as opposed to a pre-recorded video of me doing that. No, I think what you mean to say is you can't sell that card that you pulled immediately. You got to go through the motions. You got to kind of talk about it a little bit. You got to, you got to, you know, gauge how you're going to feel about it for the video. I pulled that exact same Blastoise on a video and I was very excited about it. That was my genuine reaction. When I pull a card, I am genuinely reacting to that stuff because I do not know what's in those packs and I like the cards I typically pull. That's a very stupid fucking thing to say. Oh, I get to react to the card pulls immediately on whatnot, as opposed to my regular fucking videos that totally are not fake. Uh, your videos probably aren't fake. I understand what you're trying. It's just when you word it like that, it sounds very dumb when you say it. I, I, I don't fucking know. We'll, we'll keep going. 
I've done a couple of live streams on YouTube, but it's just simply was not the same. So really this video is about me saying, I get it now. I get why pack breaks can be such a fun experience. And I also understand the risk. However, you're picking up your cards from the right sources. It's about as equal to any other source. Hey, you know why it's not the same on YouTube? You know why that's not the fucking same at all? It's because a company isn't fucking backing you up. You're having to shell out your own product. You're having to set up your own business. You're having to do all this whole thing yourself. Meanwhile, whatnot is like, hey, we'll throw you a bag. We'll give you some product to give away. We'll do this. We'll do that. I'm not saying everything about that entire process is bad, but you're taking, like, you talk about reputable sources, man. You're talking about, like, how people, like, can only, oh, make sure you get your pack. Dude, what? not to some people is not a reputable source a lot of people don't view that as a very credible place to buy certain things yes certain breakers are credible but overall whatnot does not have a very good image there's sports breakers that don't like that place pokemon breakers that don't like that place i mean that was prime scalping material that was scalping grounds 101 for fucking a lot of places and that's a big reason why a lot of average collectors such as myself and your fan base do not like fucking whatnot dude like it, it's very tone deaf and your comments i would really listen to your comments maybe not the card economist on there going like oh what the haters hate yeah the, the card economist the guy threw a big old bitch fit about a 15 second clip that pokey rev forgot to credit even reached out and was going to credit him you know 15 seconds of that stuff that's a huge deal of his two hour goddamn live stream but of course dr pear pod can go there and glock 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 on him you know the guy that takes whole fucking videos and reacts to them in the same way that Card Economist doesn't like reactions. The same the same way he doesn't like those reactions where it's like, oh wow, well, oh card, whoa, that's crazy, man. Oh yeah, Dr. Pearpot can do that. That's cool. You know, not a not a word from fucking Justice Warrior Card Economist, but oh 15 seconds from the almighty Pokey Rev. It hurt my business so bad. It hurt me. It hurt me so bad. <laughs> Yeah, and you had people that take whole ass videos. You're, dude, shut. That, don't listen to that, dude. All the other comments, though. Every other single one of them there that's telling you how they feel about you going to whatnot. I mean, you're already you're already with them. You already have your link right there. I'll put it up once again. Of course, here's his video as well, too. Feel free to go check out Twice Baked Jake if you want. This is some genuine shit, man. I, I really think, like, the money got to him. I think they offered him a bag. I think he saw it. And it's your daily reminder that people fucking have a price. Almost everybody in this fucking world has a price you give it to them look i got zero issue with people working with companies or sponsorships or anything like that hell maybe in the future i'll work with a company or a fucking sponsorship or something like that too possibly maybe one day we'll see it's gonna have to be someone who you know is cool with me being myself and it would definitely be something to help it'd be like a binder or like fucking you know a, a company that sells fairly priced booster boxes some crap like that it wouldn't be mystery packs I, you'll never catch me peddling a fucking mystery pack and that's for fucking sure it's just I'd really listen, man, especially if you want good feedback. Like, I know that's coming off very weird. I know I'm coming off a specific way. I'm not very nice and all that stuff. You're getting good feedback on what your core fan base feels about that stuff. And especially with the big old stank you threw about the bigger pokey tubers, I would definitely, definitely just think about what you're doing with this stuff. And if you plan on moving forward, hey, best of luck to you on your whatnot endeavors. Just people have a taste in their mouth about whatnot. And it's for a very specific reason. And if you choose to go into that, just be aware you're taking a big risk too. That is your name attached to that whatnot thing if they decide to do something goofy, okay? That is Twice Baked Jake selling some whatnot bullshit possibly in the future. Maybe not now. Maybe they'll keep giving you fucking Paldean Evolved packs and you'll keep having great times throwing Mews and Charizards around. Best of luck to you, man. I genuinely don't have a bad bone in my body towards you. I just do think it's kind of funny that you had that take. Winning against Pogatubers, and yet here we stand. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin. See you later. Happy Valentine's Day. And hey, just, man, just, just keep, just look at this stuff. Like, feedback is very important. It is very important when you're doing things that go against the grain, like you said. Just keep it in mind. Yes, you can get a new fan base, but your core fan base will remember.